Alright, hey guys, welcome to the video. I know this isn't an edit, and I usually upload edits, but I was really bored, and I figured, um, you know, why not make a video on how to improve at editing, because I feel like there's a lot of people out there who just don't know where to start, they don't know what to do, and hopefully this video could help you. If you're new to editing, or even if you already are an editor, but you just don't know what to do next, then this video is for you. So step one for getting good at editing is to just join the editing community. There's so many different communities out there, whether you're editing COD, Minecraft, Roblox, pretty much anything, there's probably going to be a community that edits it. So if you join the community, you can get ops, you can ask questions, you can even just hear what people are talking about in there and get inspired or get ideas or get a general idea of what not to do in an edit, which is so helpful, especially if you're starting out and you just have no idea what not to do, what to do. If you join the community, you're just going to get so much knowledge. And especially if you're first starting out, or even if you're not first starting out, but if you're just making edits and you need a place to send your edit, if you just send them anywhere, then you might not get any feedback. Or you might get feedback, but it might not be the specific feedback that you need when you're starting out. But if you join the editing community, then you're going to get the feedback that has details about you know what you did wrong, what you could do better next time which is actually the next topic, which I'm going to talk about, which is ops. So ops is basically short for opinions. Now, when you're first starting out editing, or even if you're like three or four years, you, you can always improve from ops. So what you need to do is you need to send your edits to editors. Now, pretty much every editing community is going to have either an ops channel or just a place to send edits. And if you ask people for ops, they're going to tell you what they liked about the edit, what they didn't like about the edit, what they thought about the edit. You know, just different kind of opinions that people are going to have about your editing, which especially when it's coming from editors is really important because then you know what to do better for your next edit. So this next tip is mainly aimed at newer editors or people who are just starting out with editing, and that is don't expect your first edits to be good. No one's first edits are ever good, and you can't be afraid to send your first edits because you think they're not good. But also, you shouldn't think your first edits are good. If you think your first edits are good, then you probably haven't seen enough edits, in which case you need to watch more edits to see what you can really do of editing. But when you're first starting out, you're probably going to think your edits are really bad. And that's perfectly okay, because when you're first starting out, you have no idea what to do. You don't know what's bad. You don't know what's good. Just send your edits, like I said before, and you will get so many people telling you, one, that your edit is bad, which you probably already knew. But two, they might tell you how to fix it and how to improve. And then you can use that knowledge for your next edit where you can apply the ops that you got in your previous edit. And hopefully every edit you make will get better and better and better until you're where you want to be. The next mistake that I see a lot of people making is effect spamming. Now effects can look really cool in a video, especially if you're going for like a really fast paced glitchy song that can actually make use of all of these different types of effects in a cool way. But what you should be really focusing on is your velo and your pacing. And essentially what I mean by that is pacing your clips and, you know, adjusting the speed of them and just tuning them so that the edit kind of feels smooth or that it has impact where you want there to be impact. You can't really fix a bad velo edit by adding a bunch of effects. So when you really are starting out, you should be focusing on velo and pacing. And once you get those down, then you can start worrying about things like effects and that. But if you don't have good velo and good pacing in the beginning, you're not going to be able to make a good edit. Now, the fifth tip is to just try new things. If you're not trying new things, then every edit is probably gonna come out the same and you're never gonna improve. So, you know, whenever you're starting a new edit, whenever you're opening After Effects, you should be thinking about what's something I wanna try with this edit that I haven't done before. And, you know, maybe it's not something completely new. Maybe it's not something, you know, unheard of before. It doesn't have to be, you know, the most groundbreaking thing, but it's just something that you haven't done before or that you haven't really tried or put your mind on yet before. So just think about something new that you could try and try it and then see what comes out of it. And sometimes you might find a new style that you like, you know, a different effect that you've never really thought of before because you always thought it was bad or you didn't know how to use it. But maybe by messing around with the effect or just trying something new, you're going to find a new thing that you can use in the future when you might want to use it. So the sixth tip is actually a super simple one, and it's just edit. If you're doing anything, you're going to need practice to get better at it. And editing is no different than, you know, any other skill. You just need to edit and edit and just keep editing. Now, I would recommend if you're just starting out, don't go for like, you know, a minute long edit. Don't go for like a two minute long edit. I would recommend maybe do 30 seconds of editing every week or something like that. You know, 30 seconds of editing every week is not going to take too much of your time. And yet every week you're going to have a new edit that you can post to the community that you can get ops. And so you're going to be improving, you know, every week 
And if you're trying something new with every edit every week and you're working on things like Velo, you're getting ops, you're, you know, working on just improving your editing every week, 30 seconds is going to make you improve so fast. If you've already been editing for a while, a lot of the problems with, you know, keeping editing is you're going to lose motivation. And I would say the best way to get your motivation back is to just take a break because sometimes you know you've been editing for so long you start you start editing you know on autopilot you know exactly what to do you open up after effects you got your clips already you throw them in you add velo you add effects you add you know you just you're just kind of editing on auto autopilot it's not really inspired so i think if you take a break and just give your brain some time to rest some time to get more inspiration some time to come up with more ideas of things that you actually want to edit instead of just trying to edit on autopilot then you're going to be you know more inspired you're going to be making more creative edits, more edits that fit exactly, you know, the ideas that you're going to be having. So the seventh tip is essentially think about the composition of your edit when you're making it. What does that mean? So basically composition is how you arrange, you know, the items in your scene. So when you're recording or when you're shooting a video, you always are going to have some sort of subject or something that you're focusing on where you place that in your video or, you know, and essentially if you're doing something like replay recording or any kind of cinematic creation, where you already have a clip it's more about positioning the camera so that your subject is where you want it to be in the scene so focus on recording cines where you know exactly what you want in the scene if you don't know what you want in the scene you're probably just going to end up with a random scene that you have no idea what it is and you can sync it you can make it look okay but if there's no subject then there's really no point in having the cinematic in the first place so just think about what the subject of your cinematic is where you want it to be why you want it there you know what effect you want it to give your audience when they're watching the video and that should give you a better idea of where you want to put your camera what kind of motion you want it to have do you want it to be slow or fast and just really when you start thinking about these things before you record then it's going to help a lot later in the process when you're actually doing the editing and you know you have your cinematics with already with an idea and it won't come out as random and the eighth and final tip is just match the mood of your song if you have a really happy song and you have really depressing dark gray clips it's going to be confusing to the audience because they're not going to really know you know what mood they should be having whereas if you have a really depressing song and you have really depressing clips or you have a really happy song and you have really happy clips with you know maybe a warm cc it's kind of bright you know just basically think about whatever you're recording you want to match the cc you want to match the sfx you want to match pretty much every aspect of editing with the song and basically when you listen to a song you should be thinking about what mood does this song give me and then try and build off that when you're making your video because if you have conflicting moods in an edit it's going to be really confusing for the audience when they watch it because you know they're not going to they're not going to know what to feel and you know when you're watching an edit you're not really thinking about you know should i be feeling sad should i be feeling happy the edit just should make that happen for you and if you don't have you know matching moods on different parts of an edit like let's say your cc is really bright but you have really grungy really dark sound effects and you know maybe you have a really mildly intense song it's just not going to make sense and it's going to be confusing for the audience so try and match those up and you should have a more coherent edit and it'll be a lot easier for the audience to kind of you know absorb themselves in your edit rather than be confused by it so yeah those are were my eight tips on you know how to get better at editing i hope you enjoyed i have two discord links in the description i have one for universe editing i have one for my own discord server which is kind of chill it's not really based on any specific editing community it's just kind of a place to send your edits get ops you know it's a, it's a bit of a smaller editing community but if you're into bigger editing communities i would recommend joining universe because there's a lot of cool people in there like i said before that could give you ops answer questions just tell you why your edit is bad and how to improve it and overall you know just cool people in there so i would recommend joining those two and i guess i'll see you in the next video if i make one <laughs>